So I actually like my expertise is in vintage watches. So mm -hmm. that's like where I've like placed most of my efforts in learning vintage. Right. Are you upstairs at the office or are you at lunch? No, I'm upstairs. Do you know where any of those uh, stands are for the watches for photography? It should be up there in like the uh, light box, right? It's not. Doing? Just look in there for a sting. Uh, I can find out. Oh, here, do this. I don't know where they are. Oh, I'll, your... okay. I'll look around in the closet. You need Yeah, I need one. I just need the stand part. Actually, I need one whole set, yes. One whole set? All right. I'll find out. Mm. I'll bring it down. Okay. Okay, cool. We'll mark that sold. I'll get it. Uh, I'll get it boxed up so they can package it today. It's gonna go out today, and then we're gonna wire for that and the AP balance tomorrow. All right, thanks. Sorry, Mike. When you did your transition yeah. to like a wrist shot, okay. do a slow wrist shot about like that, and then transition to a scene of you like kind of wearing it, showing a woman what okay. it's gonna look like when she wears it. Okay. I like the one you did the other day in the mirror. Cause you yeah. can see it's like it's like you can see you, but you see you see the watch twice. Yeah. Okay. I thought that looked cool. Okay, cool. Hello. Hey, Alex. It's Marco. Hey, man. Um, I so I don't know. I'm a little bit at a loss. I, I'm I'm a watch person, but there's a lot to know about these vintage watches, and I know you're an expert in the area. Is is it is it as much as you can tell? Is it all original? And, put together correctly so i actually like my expertise is in vintage watches so mm -hmm. that's like where i've like placed most of my efforts in learning vintage right uh and that's like the one thing that i would say is my biggest contribution is like my eye for detail on these watches as far as like right. differentiating them between the fakes and the reals um no but the both newmans that i have available are 100 percent original um I can tell you the black dial is like in phenomenal condition. The dial is just like museum quality. I would say that. The white one is very, very, very nice. It's very clean. However, the loom plots on it have been removed, essentially. They're just kind of like degraded to the point where I guess somebody down the road took them off. I guess they must have looked mm -hmm. ugly or something. But there's still some fragments left of it. So the black light still reacts to it. So it still shows that they were there. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. it does. Um, for the money, I would argue the black is far better. Why the same price on the black versus the uh, white? Well, they're not is the it? same per se, but white has a obviously like a bigger demand in the market. Uh, black is kind of like the second, you know. But the being that the condition on the black is so high, and the condition on the white is, I would say, medium to high. I mean, if it had perfect plots, that watch would be like. 350 you know three it would be much yeah. more so you're, you're saving money on that yeah. watch because of the loom issue and then you're paying a lot more for the black because of the condition yeah because of the condition so they kind of offset each other if that makes sense no it does because the white is what's the market demands well the yeah and it's the, and, and the one the reason i think people like the white the most is because everybody has that green rolex book with the paul newman on the cover you know what i'm talking about yeah yep yeah, yeah sure so Absolutely. everybody wants to pull out that watch you know, the, you know, when they buy her, you know, has a Newman and they're like, oh yeah, look what I have. And then they surprise their friends, family or whatever with that watch and it's on the cover of that book on the coffee table. So it's like, oh, it's a big wow factor. But the black, in my opinion, looks aesthetically far more pleasing in my opinion. Yes, you know? I agree from the pictures. I agree with you. Yeah, it's so, just stunning in person. I guess the question is, Yes. we could find a white dial that was in, that was in higher condition. I could I find you one. I, I, yeah, that's, I'm not opposed to that. Or what kind of price would you make me on the white dial? That's best. Um, so the white one doesn't belong to me. Okay. I am brokering yep. that one. Uh, the black one I do have on hand. The white one I had on hand, I've returned it to the owner, but he still has it. He'd like me to continue to try selling it. Try to sell it? Uh, yes. So, but I could find you another one and whatever I find it for, is just have my fee on top of it. So if we find one cheaper and better in condition, great, but likely won't. I mean, these things really only go through auction houses. You know what I mean? And these watches with auction right. house pricing is just insane. So I try to find okay. these off market to the best of my ability. I so when you, I mean, okay. if you ever do buy one from an auction, for example, you're, you're not paying. So let's say it sold for 320 hammer price. You're still paying the house like 18% on top of that 320. So, and taxes, they don't, they don't disclose all that stuff on the final price. Okay. 
So it gets right. ridiculously expensive at the end of the day. So yeah, I can definitely um, find you one. If okay. not, if you're happy with the white one, I can be more than happy to show it to you. It's like I said, the only issue is the loom. And I know some collectors, you know, care, some don't. I mean, they're mostly looking at the dial. You know, the dial on the, on the, uh, on the white one is really, really, really clean. There's really no issues with it. But um, again, that loom, I'm going to have to disclose that with you. So No, no, I, I, I appreciate you being up front. Thank you. Sure, of course. Um, I am a conditioned person, but I am drawn to the white dial personally a little bit more than the black. Um, gotcha. Nothing wrong with the black dial. The picture looks great. No. And I like, I agree with you. The aesthetic is wonderful, but for some reason I'm, I'm, I'm liking the white a little bit more. Um, I'm happy yeah. to help you find the white one and see what pricing I can find. And I can okay. get back to you here shortly and let you know. All right. Well, sounds good. I really appreciate it. Thank you for getting back to me so quickly. Absolutely. All right. Be well, sir. You too. Thank you. So I'm getting all the wires queued up right now. Okay, cool. And then I'll call them and verify it. Hey, what's this check for? 11907 The guy just came in and bought a watch this morning. Did, he, did we release the watch? Yeah. Why are we releasing the watch? We not on a cashier the check. Day. Dude, not what? on a cashier check. Dude. Who did that? I think it was a Dylan sale. I think. Dylan should know is he, a, is he a prior customer? No. New customer. <laughs> you know this check's real? No That's. I wasn't, I wasn't in the shop. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah that, come on. Dylan, Dylan should know better. That yeah, one. We don't release watches. With Not checks. on a cashier check. Not until we cash it. No? Not until no. it clears our bank. Well, cashier check clear. No, they no fake. They check, fake check. Check. Cashier checks are the most fake thing in the world, dude. You can't. That's the one thing you don't release watches on. What, what, this could, was the guy who was trying to pay via Venmo and couldn't. He said he'd be right back. Sure, but... Uh, listen, I'm sure it's okay. I'm sure it's okay, but... But for, for... If someone finds out that we're just releasing watches with checks, guess what? Yeah. The very next day, you're going to get a fake check in here. That's how we got scammed the very first time was a fake cashier's check. Really? I even deposited it. And it deposited cleared. it that day and it cleared. And it got reversed the next day. When was this? A year and a half ago. Two, two years ago. Two years ago, yeah. This is right, right around when him, him and I met. Yeah, because you don't know that this... If it's a real look, one, look, take, it'll take be this. real. If you have access just... to our bank, you could initiate a cashier's check from us, and it goes through, and it's a real check, but it's stolen money. It takes me yeah. a day to realize that there's money out of it. It's going to be tomorrow morning before I look at the account. Got a I driver. realize you just stole money out of the account. I call my bank and and report it. Then that money gets reversed. I hope but we have a driver's license. Gone. Did we get a driver's license? We did get a driver's license. Can I see it? Yeah. Okay. Mm. So well, we have that. We should cash it ASAP then. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the bank right now. I gotta go move some money around. Hey, what's up? The uh, you know we don't release watches the same day a check comes in, right? What music are y'all listening to? Who did I release a watch to? Damn, they they go out partying. Yeah, they, the right? they go club. Hey, where are y'all? Y'all sound like y'all at a club. We're at Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, the date just the the, the the black date just that Alfred just sold. The black stick fluted bezel, yeah. Yes, the, we got a cashier's check for it. Yes, Dylan, cashier's checks can be faked. Yeah. Like a oh, okay. Okay. It, I'm sure it's yes. okay. We've got his driver's license and all that, but from now on, no watch leaves the same day a check comes in, unless you okay. physically go to the bank with them and they hand you a check. Then the watches don't leave the same day. Yeah, I assume the worst. Sounds good. That yeah. was Alfred's deal. I, 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 didn't, I didn't oversee that, that deal, but I'll make sure that we make sure, tell, know that right now. Are they all with you right now? Yes, I'll, I will tell them right now. Let them all know. Watches don't leave same day. Sounds good. No problem. I'll let them know right now. Thank you.